Welcome to Facts for Real Videos. Everything appears to be larger in China. Highways, cities, and megaprojects are a given. And one particular undertaking stands out, the world's biggest and most potent dam. The sheer size of this structure is unlike anything the world has ever seen, with a reservoir so enormous it even slows the Earth's rotation. It is a construction that is both inspiring and hazardous. Although it provides millions of people with electricity, it is frequently criticized for being in danger of collapsing. What's driving it, though, and is the dam actually in jeopardy? We'll examine one of the largest global megaprojects in this video, the Three Gorges Dam. The Three Gorges Dam in Hubei is enormous, stretching for 2.3 kilometers and standing at over 180 meters tall. It is located across the enormous Yangtze River and controls the flow of a vast reservoir that is more than 600 kilometers across. The area covered by this reservoir alone is larger than Singapore's whole island nation. The building itself isn't the most striking aspect, though. It is also the biggest power station of any kind in the world, with a total installed capacity of 22.5 gigawatts. The Grand Coulee Dam, which is the most potent in the United States, has a capacity that is only one-fourth that of the Three Gorges. Even nuclear power facilities are unable to match its output. The complete complex is capable of supplying electricity to more than 4.5 million people year-round when operating at its theoretical maximum. But there was another significant reason why it was built, in addition to providing millions of people with a steady source of clean, renewable energy. Cities and villages around the Yangtze River have frequently experienced severe flooding. Almost every year during the rainy season, minor floods occur. The largest issue, though, are significant, protracted, and unpredictable floods. Around 90 years ago, the deadliest of these is thought to have killed between 3.7 and 4 million people. Consequently, action was required. As a result, the idea for a massive dam that could regulate the Yangtze's flow was conceived. With more than 400 million people living nearby now, this building could help save a lot of lives. Cities like Wuhan and Shanghai could avoid devastating flooding further downstream thanks to the Three Gorges. This is made possible by managing the amount of water that goes out while holding enormous volumes of water inside the reservoir during rainy seasons. This system is not faultless, though. For instance, they had to release water to keep the reservoir at a tolerable level during the 2010 high rains. Unfortunately, this resulted in landslides, flooding, and the deaths of many hundred downstream. Overall, it is predicted that catastrophic flooding will occur just once per century rather than once every 10 years. So how was it constructed? It took 17 years to construct something on this magnitude and across such a wide river. Engineers had to overcome two obstacles in order to even start the construction process. At the same time as they needed to stop the Yangtze's upward flow, they also needed to ensure that enough water could still pass through. Since the cities downstream depend on the river's uninterrupted flow. Therefore, stone fences were built upstream during construction. As a result, the initial section of the foundations could be built on dry land. Engineers used coffer dams and routed the Yangtze's flow around them to achieve the ideal equilibrium. They started putting in the first turbines after finishing the concrete framework. After that, the coffer dams were detonated, allowing the water to finally reach the dam's turbines. The dam's final cost exceeded $30 billion. The Yangtze is now simpler to navigate upstream thanks to this megaproject, in addition to power generating and flood management. The river is renowned for being a hazardous canal to travel because of its meandering curves and fluctuating water levels. Four. Therefore, the Three Gorges Dam's construction aids in raising upstream water levels, enabling the safe passage of even larger ships. Massive ships are transported across the dam using a set of ship locks and a highly unique feature. The world's biggest ship lift. This device can transport vessels weighing up to 3,000 tons over a 110-meter elevation, 16. The lift completes the task in only 30 minutes, as opposed to the locks, which can typically take up to 4 hours. Such a project takes a high level of engineering and scientific understanding to build. Happily, there are simple and engaging ways to learn more about this.
At this point, we'd like to present our sponsor for the day, Brilliant. Through engaging online courses, Brilliant is a terrific place to learn about math, data science, and computer science. Brilliance has you covered whether your goal is to ace a test or acquire valuable skills for your profession. Brilliant offers tens of thousands of engaging hands-on lessons for students of all skill levels, from novices to art and experts. Every month, new, intriguing lessons are added in a variety of fields, including engineering and data science. When you sign up, a brief quiz will help you choose content that matches your interests and ability level. This allows you to investigate ideas at your own speed. Additionally, they provide guest classes from YouTube channels like Real Engineering and Kurtzgesagt. For instance, you can learn about intriguing engineering concepts in his course, such as this tether launcher that could be used to launch satellites or spacecraft into orbit. We appreciate your support, and now let's proceed with the largest ship lift yet. The Yangtze's freight capacity has grown up to six times since the development of these channels. The project's significance as a driver of regional economic growth is demonstrated by the ongoing decline in shipping costs. Additionally, just recently it was revealed that in the first half of 2023, more than 23,000 different vessels went through the Three Gorges. The comparison to the same time last year shows a 10% increase. Another side consequence of holding so many records is that the building became a popular tourist destination. Over the past five years, up to 10 million tourists have visited. Even its own viewing platform and exhibition space let visitors to catch a glimpse of the project being built in passing. Everything sounds excellent thus far. However, it goes without saying that creating a structure of this size and influence is fraught with difficulties. So what exactly are these issues? The reservoir was predicted to partially or totally flood thousands of cities, towns, and villages even before construction started, according to the developers. As a result, about 1.4 million people had to move to a higher location. Even though the government offered relocation aid and compensation, there were complaints about subpar housing, a shortage of necessities, and shoddy infrastructure in the new resettlement locations. People were forced to abandon their neighborhoods, farms, and houses. The Yangtze River's surroundings profound and long-lasting impact on the ecosystem and animals is another important consideration. For instance, landslides have increased in frequency since the area's construction. Damage from these landslides has already cost millions of dollars. The Yangtze River is renowned for its biodiversity and species richness. But several of these animal and plant species are now in danger of extinction. For instance, the dam may be to blame for the disappearance of the Chinese paddlefish and river dolphin, though commerce is undoubtedly also a factor in this. Additionally, critics have questioned the Three Gorges' capacity to avert significant floods following the most recent monsoon rains of 2020. Due to the torrential rains that forced the Yangtze River to overflow, some of the highest average precipitation totals in almost 60 years were recorded. A closer examination of the project's effectiveness in averting such catastrophes was prompted by reports of more than 150 deaths or missing persons during this incident. 13. There is also one additional thing. This appears at first glance to be a tranquil lake in a stunning setting. The fact that the only reason this reservoir exists is because of the enormous dam, however, distinguishes it from other lakes. In the unlikely event that the dam were to fail, enormous torrents of water would roar downhill, destroying everything in their path. Communities would be destroyed, people would die, and the landscape would be permanently altered. More than 400 million people who live along the Yangtze River would be in danger of dying in such an incident. Major cities downriver like Wuhan and Shanghai would also be under grave danger, and the Chinese economy would suffer greatly. Although the engineers are aware of this and the dam is constantly inspected, when these satellite photographs appeared, there was still some concern. They depict the Three Gorges Dam in a slightly distorted shape, raising doubts about its structural soundness. In fact, cracks and substandard concrete were found, according to a German-Chinese hydrologist who was mentioned in the media. Chinese media quickly shot down the rumors, claiming that Google Maps algorithm flaws were to blame for the photographs going viral. Additionally, 
They clarify that although the structure does slightly distort, it does not do so as dramatically as the photos suggest. The circumstance is complicated. But it should come as no surprise that its safety is a key concern, especially for the developers. In conclusion, it is clear that this dam's function goes well beyond its amazing engineering. As long as the reservoir behind it is there, it must be able to withstand the forces of nature. What then lies ahead for this project? Although the power plant has a 22.5 gigawatts theoretical maximum capacity, in practice it barely produces 45% of that amount. Seasonal variations in the Yangtze cause the water's force as it passes through the three gorges turbines to shift throughout the year. The Itaipu Dam, which is situated on the border between Brazil and Paraguay, occasionally performs better than the three gorges. The world's largest waterfall in terms of volume was once located near the plant's location, but it was subsequently drowned after the reservoir was built. As a result, the Itaipu has a significantly stronger and more reliable water flow. Studies have been done on how artificial intelligence might be used to optimize the Three Gorges' capacity for energy production in order to boost efficiency even more. Researchers have developed algorithms to anticipate the electricity generation of the dam in any given season using previous data on the Yangtze's flow, 19. They have come to the conclusion that these models can be employed by the operators to boost efficiency over time. Portage railroads will be built on both banks of the river as part of future improvements to the Three Gorges. This method would allow ship's cargo to be loaded onto another ship, transported to the other side of the dam, and then transferred to waiting trains. In addition to the site's current ship locks and lift, this upcoming railway would facilitate the movement of cargo over the dam. Despite all of these upgrades, the Three Gorges Dam still serves as a testament to human engineering. What do you think of it, though? Do you believe its advantages can outweigh its drawbacks? Comment below and let us know. We appreciate your continued support and look forward to seeing you in the upcoming video.